If you've been thinking about what to make recently, then you're in luck because today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite carrot soup recipes. My name is James, I've been cooking professionally as a chef for over 10 years and I will be sharing with you more healthy, fast, tasty and easy recipes that you can make in your own home. So let's get started. The equipment that you're going to need to make the soup is going to be a knife, a peeler, a pot and a blender of some sort, a Vitamix, a Thermomix and if you don't have any of those then a hand blender will do. You're going to be using one medium onion or two small onions, about four to five hundred grams of carrots. If you put a little more it doesn't matter because you just make more soup. You put one star anise as well as one piece of cinnamon stick and if you don't have the cinnamon stick you can use about one teaspoon of the powder as well as chicken stock and if you buy the chicken stock it'll save you a lot of time and energy. Whenever you're making a blended soup, it doesn't matter what shape the ingredients are in, what matters is the thickness that you cut them because the smaller they are, the faster they cook, the faster you cook, the faster you're done. First you saute the onions, then you saute the carrots, then you're going to cover the carrots with chicken stock, just above the line of the carrots. About one teaspoon. You honestly won't believe how many times I've made this soup. I used to make a pot about this big and I'd have to peel about four to five kilos of carrots at a time. But anyway, if you want to substitute the chicken stock for vegetable stock, you can easily do that as well. So when you're cooking this, you want to cook until the carrots are done. You don't want them to be al dente. You pick the biggest piece that you can find, which will be this one, and this still needs a few more minutes to cook. In this taste needs salt and a little bit of salt. So when it's done, it'll be completely done. It won't be al dente at all. And then be sure and remember to take the star anise and the cinnamon stick out. Also, if you have cheesecloth, you can tie them up in a little ball if you have it. If you don't, don't worry about it. You're going to strain it. You can either use a colander and strain all the ingredients or you can use a hand strainer. You're going to put it in and then at the end you're going to save the sauce because with the juice you're going to add it to the mixture. So the rest of the chicken stock you're going to add just a little bit to the mixture, not too much. You're going to put a cube of butter in as well because the more cute the more butter and the more cream that you add the more fat it is the creamier it's going to be. Gonna put it on high. You can also add a little bit of heavy cream to make it more of a puree. So at this point, you've added the butter, you've added the chicken stock, and a little bit of heavy cream. At this point, is a puree. So if you put it on a plate, you can also make a garnish if you want. If you want to turn this into more of a soup, then you're going to add more chicken stock or vegetable stock. I've added a little more heavy cream, a little bit of water, and a little more chicken stock. Until you get it to a consistency about this, maybe a little more water if you want. And you also have to taste the salt if you want to add a little more. But this is a perfect consistency. After you make it into the consistency that you want, you can either use it as a puree with dinner or with lunch, or you can add a little more stock, water, butter, maybe even a little heavy cream and turn it into a soup like I have here. Now, I will be making more recipes for you in the coming weeks, so stay tuned for more easy, healthy, fast and tasty recipes. Be sure to like the video down below and to subscribe.